Hello everybody, welcome to another tutorial on Roland Zenbeat. In this video I would like to show you how you can record a um, number of tracks and for each track assign a instrument which will be played in the Roland Sound Canvas. So let's get started. Let's click on the new song. Let's close uh, the drum track. Let's click on the drum track and hold and let's select delete. So we have now an empty song in Roland Zenbeat. So first thing first, I have loaded uh, a uh, already Roland Sound Comfort, so I moved to it uh, shortly to show you. Here we go. We don't have anything assigned to the tracks. So let's go back to um, Roland Zenbeat. Let's go to the menu. Let's go to settings. Let's go to MIDI output. Under MIDI output 1, let's select Sound Canvas and let's click OK. Now, let's add a track like so, an instrument track, and let's close the window where we select the plugins. Let's expand the settings for the particular track. Let's click on MIDI, let's click on MIDI out and select Sound Canvas MIDI in. Let's click again on the MIDI settings, let's go on Advanced MIDI and let's select channel 1 for the MIDI output channel and let's click OK. Let's bring up the keyboard and let's test if this works and plays the Roland Sound Canvas on channel number or MIDI channel number 1. Perfect. Before we continue, let's go to uh, Roland Sound Canvas. Here we are. Let's click on the instrument. Perfect. Let's select the bass. Let's select, for example, a um, I don't know a Juno Eight bass. Let's audition it. Let's click on preview. That's fine. Let's move to part number two, and on part number two, let's select a synth pad, and let's select the OB Soft pad preview. Perfect, let's go back. Now let's reduce a little bit the volume on the uh, second with the channel for the pad and um, let's scroll down as well. Oops. And we'll leave on channel number 10 the standard drum kit. Okay, let's go back to Roland's a bit. Okay, let's click on the first um, um, Sync B to create the first loop. Let's double click on it. Again, here we are. So this would be our base. Okay, perfect. Let's change the cursor setting. Let's go to paint and let's create a melody. Let's listen. Okay, not sure I, I particularly like it. So let's um, select all the notes and let's go down of an octave. And let's click play again. Better. So let's close that um, uh, the editor. Let's add another track, an instrument track. We will not select any plugin. So we will choose MIDI as output sound canvas and we will choose now as a MIDI, uh, sorry, as advanced MIDI, we will choose channel number 10 where we have our drum kit. Okay. Let's go again and edit that loop. Let's um, scroll down to C2. Okay, and let's create a bit of a bit. Let's change the paint mode. Okay. On that note. 
some hi-hat let's try Perfect, so we have created two tracks. Next, let's create another instrument track. Again, we will not choose any plugin. We will select the MIDI configuration as sound canvas for the MIDI out. And we will select as a MIDI channel, channel number two, where we have our pad. This time, what I'm going to do, I'm going to arm for recording and I'm going to record something directly on the keyboard, which I will play uh, using my fingers directly on the iPad. Okay. I stopped and now let's listen to what we have done so far. Perfect. As you can see, it's very straightforward to record tracks and loops inside Rollins and Bits and to redirect, to redirect each track to a different MIDI channel and in this case drive Roland Sound Canvas. I hope you enjoyed the video and see you next time. Bye!